Yes, I know you heard that I was clicking on stuff in uh, the Rule of Waves 2 game and it made a noise. Hello, Fallen Star, how's it, how's it going? I haven't even gotten to my introduction yet and I'm already saying hi to people. Uh, so yes, hello there everybody. This is No Name Moment 7 Spore and today I am back with some more Rule of Waves 2. This time playing as Japan, I think everything is set up well. Yes, yes it is. And... Yeah, we're doing this run without destroyers, which is going to make it really, really interesting. Uh, Russia is looking to want to go to war with us, so it looks like we are going to get the Russo-Japanese war happening here. And if that happens, we need to start activating ships. So what I'm going to do is... Okay, I'm going to activate one of the Takahiho, or Takachihos as well as one of these guys, and I'm going to send both of you to Southeast Asia. I'm going to pull Asama back to Northeast Asia. Heisen needs to be active. Um, I'm going to activate two of the Shikishimas. Two, as well as the Yayamas. I think getting at least a core, a nice uh, core of ships active here will help. So still having a, some on the reserve fleet, I think, is a good idea at the present moment. So now our monthly balance has gone down a lot. Um... And I think that's okay as is. I probably do want to continue improving Formosa when I can, but it's not yet. So if we're going to go to war with Russia, then we're probably going to want to... Can we try for the Leotung Peninsula? No, we can't. We can try for uh, Sakhalin, though. Okay. And right now we have the Battlecruiser Congo building in our own yards. Um, she's not that great. So one thing I wanted to do is I actually wanted to take... Light forces and torpedo warfare up to medium rather than low. Because there are some technologies in there which are very useful for us. Now, we did manage to get cross deck fire from the British, but at the moment we don't have a main gun wing turret, so it's kind of useless. However, we do have medium wing turret, so that might be useful for like a heavy cruiser or a. Uh, well, yeah, kind of a heavy cruiser. Um, yeah, it would be a heavy cruiser at this point. Well, it would be an armored cruiser, a large armored cruiser, but, you know, a dreadnought armored cruiser. Um, it's not really useful for a battleship or a battle cruiser yet. Let's go to the next turn. We have an alliance with the British and the French. So, a war with Russia will probably end pretty favorably for us. And I think the current amount of monthly balance is good. Um... I'll protest the proposal. Go to war sooner. Hey! Larger dockyards. Larger destroyers, which is a completely and utterly useless technology for me due to that limitation. Yeah, we can easily beat Russia. We're putting them on high spying here. Alright. Activate the navy. Alright, that is every major ship in our navy activated. I forgot to activate Ismo somehow. That was not good. She needed to be active. Um, oh, apparently Russia... Oh, Russia's moving ships down here, but they're going to be blockaded because Britain and France. Sell to anyone who wants to buy. Yeah, sure. <laughs> That's enough to pick up Russia... Okay, so I actually do get the surprise attack this time. So hopefully we can get a successful invasion going here. So go go 15 knots as you were originally going. We have the light cruiser Matsushima out front. So the big issue with this is that, you know, not having any battleships, or not, not any battleships, no, not having any destroyers kind of hurts us. So you guys are going to go as a core group but on the uh, these guys here so hopefully that reorganization will happen hey if I need to catch a stream at the start awesome um, if you want um, I could give you the uh, notify me of the streams role in my discord if you if you do want that um, that would allow you to get pinged every time I do actually start a live stream
So this is a little little dangerous what we're doing. Okay, we do have a submarine in there though. Shim Twitch is being a dum dum and let me choose a lower resolution. Oh yeah. Um it's probably the time time I'm streaming at at this point. Uh what happens there is that Twitch has a limited amount of bandwidth they can actually use. You'd appreciate the roll? Okay, I can do that real quickly. There we go, you got the roll. So now every time I stream, you will be uh, pinged. But Twitch only has a limited amount of bandwidth, and I believe every single... Maybe bandwidth, maybe processing power, I don't know. And every single resolution that a stream is in requires some of that bandwidth. It requires some of that power. So what Twitch does is that the uh, lar the really large and partnered stream or the large partnered streamers get um, you know they get the bandwidth first so they get their streams in multiple different qualities and then you know Twitch partners and then it goes eventually goes down to Twitch affiliates are going to be prioritized next as well as uh, larger streams and then you know it keeps going further and further down. Come on, Bezos, you're going to be a trillionaire. Give us the bandwidth. Yep. All right, so we have ships over here. And a coastal fortification. Swerve to the side. Come on. Nice. We hit that enemy uh, pre-dreadnought. Got to just do as much damage as we can before the uh, enemy does anything. And also hope that our broadside torpedo mounts do stuff. Hey, Ismo's launching. Probably at that CL, I'm hoping. Take manual control of these light cruisers and sail them in. <laughs> Gunnery level, gunner's first mate, first class asshole. Yep. Sorry, I had to get something. Nope, it looks like we are still only managing to put stuff into that battleship, which is. Are you sinking? It's not sinking yet. Okay. Ah, uh, space balls, yeah. I'm pretty certain it's going to be sinking now. Not quite yet, not quite yet. It'll probably be sinking soon. Yeah, I don't know why they keep torpedoing it rather than any of these other ships. Hey, that one got hit too. Eisenhall hit belt penetration. Okay. He is launching a torpedo at what? At that battleship. You swerve this way. Suo is now launching a torpedo back in this direction. Okay, cool. Okay, Matsushima, pull back. Nice hit on that battleship. Nice hit on that cruiser. So see, we're still making this torpedo attack work. Those enemy destroyers have started moving, though. Okay, good. We're launching a torpedo at that guy. And now he's moving. How damaged is he? Okay, so it's an armored cruiser. It's a heavily damaged armored cruiser. I think we've got three of them here. Alright, you guys swerve around this way. That battleship is moving. But it's probably dead. It missed a static BB. 
Oh wait, no, that is a CA. Is it a C? No, it's a battleship. But it's getting shot up more. That one's definitely dead. Um, I think that one's dead too now. I think we've accomplished this. But now it's getting a little too risky. So now I'm going to move away at 16 knots. Precisely because of that. Because those are enemy destroyers charging us. Alright, start swerving a little bit. I mean, the one, the CL launch, yeah. Well, it started moving, was the thing. It probably would have landed had that ship not, you know, begun moving. So, this is probably a coastal vessel here. A little corvette. Alright, there we go. Sink two ships accomplished. Yep. Chioda. Okay, so she's just lost contact. Scenario is over. That is good. So we suffered one dreadnought lightly damaged and a submarine sunk. A CA lightly damaged and a light cruiser lightly damaged. Oh, they got one of those CAs out. I thought we'd sunk both of them. Uh, but yeah, we sank both of the pre-dreadnoughts there. Crippled their CA force and did some significant damage to their destroyer force. So, Pervinets was flat out sunk by uh, multiple torpedoes. Um, this one did manage to get into port, so it's going to be back. This is only a sinking in port. It means it's probably out for like five, six months or something. Um, but it's not dead dead. It's only mostly dead. Um, yeah, it looks like multiple torpedo hits and then 12 inch hits, but yeah, it got into port. Bogatir, heavy damage. Well, I thought we'd done more than that. Hello, Bosian. Yeah, we just, I just got done with the first battle. Also, Bosian, um, any, or if you want to get notified of these streams earlier, uh, one thing I do have is I do have a special role for it in my Discord. I should really have a bot in my Discord to hand out roles at some point. Um, but if you want that role, uh, just ask me. So yeah, 14 inch shell hits on this, uh, Bogatir and multiple 10 inch and 6 inch hits. But yeah, didn't quite do enough. So this was the one we hit with a torpedo. Okay, you're good. Yeah, torpedo, critical hit, rudder damaged. You're just going to come in. Okay, yeah, come in when you want. Yeah, that's good. Or oh, that's fine. Uh, Viking was just talking about that earlier, so... Yeah. So we did manage to get the torpedo in on this one, but it somehow managed to control the flooding. Blessing until you are streaming. Yeah, that is true. This destroyer was almost sunk after, um... Presumably charging our battle line and taking a lot of damage. Matsushima took a few hits, mostly from the coastal batteries, but managed to get in. Aizen, light damage. Um, 3 inch and a 7 inch hit, not much. And I think it did score some torpedo hits. This uh, destroyer just took a single 6 inch hit and lost all of its stru superstructure, but was otherwise fine. Ismo took a few 4 and 6 inch hits. Not much happened, and this uh, destroyer lost its soup, lost a lot of its superstructure, survived, and you know, yeah, sank that little patrol boat. So that should be a victory for the Lao Tung Peninsula. And is there now an invasion? There is now an invasion of the Lao Tung Peninsula. Good. And we right now have the only force in this area. Uh, I'm gonna select Sacklin as an invasion target. So yeah, I'm actually really surprised that the surprise attack went off, because we don't have destroyers. So that just generated a surprise attack for a navy which lacks destroyers right now. Oh, we only have one coastal sub still in service. No, 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 don't continue. I forgot to do something, and that is set all these guys onto trade protection. And now we have good trade protection. Cruiser action down here. We should be able to accept that. Um, I'll accept it. I don't think Russia has enough here to really do much. Alright, so we have to destroy a bombardment target. We have our armored cruisers. I'm going to guess that the Russians also have armored cruisers here. And that fight could go either way, honestly. No question, are we going to witness a truly FU tier BB in the late game since you won't spend millions on destroyers? Yeah, very possibly. 
Okay, there we go. Unidentified land feature spotted. This will... Hold on. Our spotting range is here, but we can see it from out here. Okay. I don't know how our cruisers would lose contact with this division when it's just literally heading towards the coast. Okay, so we are landing hits on the bombardment target. There we go, multiple hits. Honestly, so down to like 14 knots. The slower you go, I think the more accurate you're going to be. But yeah, we're probably going to see more battleships and light cruisers this game. Probably torpedo cruisers. One thought I'm having is of intentionally rebuilding, like, all of my old cruisers into torpedo cruisers. Like, doing actual machinery refits on them and then just getting torpedo cruisers out of them. And then having my new construction focused more around gun-based cruisers. Which might be a, uh decent way to balance the fleet. Yeah, that that mission was a success. They didn't even intervene. Is there big enough? Not a bad call, I guess. Yeah. What? Okay, then. Okay, so our screen division has found enemy CAs, which were chasing us. So, my thought is trying to cross, trying to cross ahead of them. Okay, a little too close. And pull back. We almost pulled that off. Alright, swerve that way. Swerve this way. All right. Go down to cruise speed. Just that little fight there didn't go too badly. We're just going to keep running. A few too many, I think. The enemy ships, yeah. I mean, we've got good quality CAs, but we only have two of them. After uh, one of our CAs got torpedoed by a submarine in the last war, that was really stupid. Now we destroyed the land target. Um, okay, so our one of our light cruisers suffered the most damage than that armored cruiser, which just didn't take much. Um, then Tokiwa suffered a little bit, and Vetlana suffered a single medium hit was I uh, was a five inch okay but yeah destroyed the installation that gives us the victory we accomplished our objective got away and the enemy really didn't get a lot out of it hey 900 ton destroyers that is amazingly useful in this campaign notion ship seal seal flora flora has been heavily damaged ah, I need to speak hey Russia's blockaded now Yeah, Russia, you're screwed. Now I just had a realization, you're going to need a metric fuck ton of patrol bombers to deal with the late game subs ban. Or, a metric fuck ton of uh, sub chasers. Um, destroyers are going to be, or not having destroyers though, is going to be really annoying in battles where there are submarines. Because that's going to give me a lot less defense against them. Maybe I can come up with some clever corvette design which would actually get into battle. But I don't know. But anyways, good news is we're winning this. I want to get an invasion of Sakhalin here, but it looks like that's not going to happen yet. Russian, Russian destroyer has been heavily damaged. I'm not going to build more. I want to build a larger docks. I will build larger docks. If I need to, I can halt Congo for a turn. Cruiser action. Accept.
Um, I should Corvette ideas with you. Lifetime, lifetime ago, literally armored coastal cruisers. Yeah. So did did you just see the location of that battle? In Europe. I guess Kamchatka would be proven correct, but okay. So this is what the Russians are currently building. Pre probably pretty comparable to Congo. A little slower, probably a, maybe slightly better armored. I don't know, so armor's probably about the same. Slightly better armed. Probably, it's probably short range though. If we look at Congo, yeah, we don't have as good of um, guns. Our turrets are good, our belt armor's not as good, our speed's better. And we have a lot more secondaries on Congo. Alright. So, come on, give us, give us like an invasion or something. I'll accept that too. I'll accept that too. I'll accept that. Crush them completely? Hey, we grabbed the Laotung Peninsula. Cool. We did the math a while back. Anyway, larger corvettes provide you with more ASW per tonnage in exchange of longer build time. I think I think that's 900 tonners. 900 tonners are the ones you want. However, if you build 200 tonners in a war, those might be somewhat worth it. But yeah, the 900 tonners are probably the best. Although, late game, I think it's going to swap. If you're building minesweepers like these guys, they're not gonna do. They're not gonna do that much. But if you're not building minesweepers, then yeah. If, if you're at the point where you have K guns but no other technologies, then you probably want to go with. Uh, or then you probably want to go with 900 tonners. But at some point, um, the extra depth charges and what else is it? If I go into build ship, no design ship. It is a uh, forward ASW mortar and increased depth. Actually, wait, no, those might be limited to 900 tonners. Um, yeah, those are limited to 900 tonners. Oh. My screen just briefly went black there for a moment. Uh, you guys didn't see it, but that was my uh, monitor doing that. Um, when K-guns, I know you can only get two on 600 tonners, and you can get four on 900 tonners, so... You know, K-gun wise, yeah, you want to go with the 900 tonner. Um, I think for these guys, I forget if it, I forget if you need it to be 900 tons or not for the four days W mortar and increased depth charge storage. Um, if you don't need it to be, then I could see once you have all these technologies unlocked, the 600 tonner um, being more efficient. But um, at the moment, I think the 900 tonner is. There's also some thought about trying. Well, I can't rebuild them with mines yet, but maybe in the future. Hey, we're actually making a small uh, monthly profit now in terms of budget. So, good news is uh, Port or the Laotung Peninsula has fallen. It is now ours. We're trying to invade Sakhalin. And just doesn't seem to be happening. Hey, we actually get a battle. Alright, let's go in. See what there is. Sea state limit ship speed. You missed the golden age of Corvette trolling. Such a shame. Eh, I don't know. If it's if it's only in the early 1900s, then it's probably not that effective of a strategy. This is an escort ship. Two inch armor, max five inches repelling cruisers. Yep. Nope, that's a traitor. That thing was, uh, like, speeding at us, and then only for it to wind up being a merchant. Alright, got one. We need two. Go down to cruise speed again. Alright, where is a second ship for me to sink? Go this way. Found one. What are you? So, at the moment, it's moving pretty quickly. It's a traitor. Awesome. Yeah, it's dead. Go to cruise speed again, and just sail away. We've won. Battle is a victory.
What did I get a ping for? Oh, someone else is going live. Okay. <clears throat> Alright. We can just run. Run towards Japan. That is a definite victory. Um, hopefully, at some point, we can actually start an invasion of uh, Sakhalin. So they didn't have an armored cruiser. I know it would have been nice to sink that, but oh well. I still had a few ships around there, which we just didn't see. Hey, right, main battery wing turrets. We're getting close to mastering those. Once we have those, we can build, uh, you know, battle cruisers and battleships with uh, ten. Or with like a 10 main gun broadside. Or can you enjoy the crap out of Orion? I have played of Orion. Uh, it's a pretty good game. Um, I need to play it more. It's it's more one I like to play with other people. But part of the problem is I try to build a large ship and then uh, wind up getting a bit bored at that point in time trying to decorate it. Alright, so... Our... Convoys are where? I don't know. Uh, so, here we have our heavy cruisers backed up by our... Well, not a heavy cruiser. Armored cruisers backed up by these protected... Our, or our protected cruisers backed up by a bunch of British protected cruisers. And the British have brought destroyers! Hooray! We get destroyers this engagement! Uh, we don't have any on our battle line. We can change that. But yes, hooray! I get to actually use destroyers. I am the swarm stations will be shattered, the core will burn. Yeah. Alright, so what are these guys doing? Go to cruise speed. So, I'm gonna kind of manually control them as a scout force, but... But not as a pure scout force. Hmm. We're looking around for them. There they are. Squad Max, start moving this way. Start turning this way. I need to keep these guys in sight of the uh, battle line, though. Okay, so that is an enemy uh, CA. Yep. Good to know. And it looks like these are probably enemy battleships. Let's create a one so unit long Goliath. He tried to turn the ship breaks in ten pieces. Yep. Alright, somebody's... Okay, these two ships are exchanging fire. Uh, you guys are a screen, and I can't control you. Okay, so these are three pre-dreadnought battleships. Versus, uh... What? Seven pre-dreadnoughts and a dreadnought? Or an early dreadnought, but pretty good early dreadnought. Uh, yeah... Go to squad max, which is 18 knots. You guys start turning down to the south, too. See if you can hit him. Niwa is getting hit. Alright, pursuit. Like, what are they going to be able to do here? Especially if we can get some good hits on this, uh, armored cruiser here. If we get some good hits on it, um, and the battle line catches up, it's dead. <laughs> it's just this giant swarm of death heading for these Russian ships. Although... Heisen is within range of the enemy uh, pre-dreadnoughts now. Who lives in a shipwreck under the sea? Rush Navy. Yes. <laughs> so if we sink these guys, then uh, I don't think that there's really anything they can do. All right. Start turning... You guys start turning broadside. You cross behind it. Here. Oh. I would say good move on its part, but... I don't think so. A 
it's still getting shot up a lot. So we are hitting some of them. I don't think we're hitting them with... I don't think our hits have been too effective. We're taking some hits, but they're not doing a lot either. I don't think. I don't think the hits against us have done like... Eh, I mean, Ismo's a little damage. Iki, has she... Has Iki or Mikasa taken any? I don't think so. Okay, so the invasion transports are over this way. Is a non-penetrating room hit, or non-penetrating uh, engine room hit. All right, start going broadside to them. Target that, target that CA, please. Oh, rudder damage on one of the ships. Rudder jammed center. All right, we're just gonna continue on the current course for a bit. And now Heisen is actually taking some significant damage, but you know we scored uh, another hit on that CA. It looks like Russia only has one destroyer here, too. Somehow. They had four in the... Uh, mission... Or, what the mission? Uh, Lao Tung Peninsula Surprise Attack Mission. They had four there. Okay. Heisen, have you fixed your rudder? Yes, you have. So I'm going to start ordering you slightly that way. But yeah, the more of these ships we slow down, the better. Because every single Russian ship we catch is dead. Basically. How fast are they? They are 19 knots, which is probably explaining the whole current situation, because most of our battle line only goes 18 knots. They are able to outrun us ever so slightly. On the other hand, every hit, every single hit we score against them will slow them down. So if we can do some light damp or a little bit of damage to them and slow them down, they're dead. I guess this challenge will have one advantage. You won't friendly fire torp your own BBs. Yes. That is actually seriously something I was, you know, thinking about when starting this challenge. Is like, you know what? That's not going to happen anymore. Alright. Keep firing at that armored cruiser. Yeah, you're not going to be able to get your, uh,. Middle guns firing anyway. So that damage our Ismo and Tokiwa. Not really. They can only go 20 knots right now, though. Because of Tokiwa. Okay. Keep pursuing. Oh, damn it. Alright, that's gonna slow Tokiwa right down. I don't think we can catch him. Let's just go back up and go to the invasion transports now. Oh, hey. They've decided to turn around. Okay, Tokiwa has gotten her flooding under control and is now going at normal speed again. So we're going to go to cruise speed and just head back up north and escort the transports here. Because we're going to win this anyway. It seems like the Russian fleet's just running away, and... Yeah. Oh, hey, we reached the objective. Hey, Russia, you just lost. Let's go back down and hunt them again. Since, yeah, now they're on the target. All the invasion transports made it. Sakhalin is now being invaded. Alright. So you guys... Be a support group. You know what? Be a screen. So, I wouldn't be too surprised if the Russians are just running here or something. You know, maybe I should just head back to Wackenai. I'll just go to Wackenai and go in. Um, 
go into port, not risk any of the ships to subs or anything. Or mines. Which, uh, would definitely be better. Uh, yeah, let's scenario. Yeah, we win that. We get the invasion, and they just ran away. Tokiwa did take the most damage, though. Followed by Heisen. So, the gun battle we definitely did lose. We did some damage to this one, but not too much. About this game, the battle crews are just under-armored under BBs and how they're used. Basically, Zumo... They're, they're also fast ships, though. They're... Um... So you can certainly use their speed to uh, your advantage to run stuff down. I shame nobody builds stuff like the Alaska class. I think for that you'd really need like a well-timed treaty. Um, okay, we get two prestige. And we land in Sakhalin. And now our training's done. Did we just get... We're not quite at main battery turrets yet, but we're getting very, very close. We have more money now. The invade, or we're getting more money per turn. Sacklin's getting invaded. This is excellent convoy attack. Yeah, accept. They decline. I'll accept this battleship engagement. Unknown ship sighted. Okay, cool. All right. So this is probably an enemy battleship of some sort. How many? Was an enemy? Cru no way. That's no way. That's a cruiser. Is it? Is that seriously it? Well, thank you, Battle Generator. Um, honestly, run uh, Heisen at her full speed. We're gonna struggle to. Well, Heisen can keep up, so. The other two ships are not gonna be able to keep up, but you know, every single 14 inch shell we put into this armored cruiser is uh, gonna significantly damage it. And every time we significantly damage it, it will allow the other battleships a uh, chance to catch up. Because all we gotta do is we gotta slow that ship down to 18 knots or lower. Preferably lower. Probably like 17, 16 knots. So if we get lucky, that's only a couple 14 inch hits. If we get unlucky, you know, who knows how many. Or we could just keep missing. You hit one of the Vidneys. I think that was a hit on a Vidney, right? Yeah. We're wasting a lot of ammunition on this thing. For virtually no gain at this point. Yes, Detacher. Yes, Detacher. You can go AI control. You can go AI control. Okay. The Vidney classes are getting hit, though. But, you know, hopefully it's actually doing something. Oh, hey, we scored a 14-inch uh, hit there. Eisen turret disabled. Damn it. Hey, turret back in action. Is that the... That was the aft one, so we can't fire a forward turret. Let's go to 5-inch hit on a Vidney. One of the Vidneys is significantly slower than the other one. It looks like... Yeah, that one's detaching. Eisen, is your forward gun active again? Yeah, okay, so one of the Vidneys is heavily damaged. It could sink later on, especially if it has a continuous flooding. The, uh... Armored Cruiser is still being run down. By Heisen. We scored a hit on the Vidney. Did we score something else there? Look, Yeah. 14 inch hit on it. Good. I... How slow is it going? It's saying 15 knots. Heisen stokers are exhausted, so we can go only go 18 knots with Heisen. 
but you know, hopefully this is enough to get you know all of our guns firing like we were there briefly. No, it's still running. How fast can it go? It's saying 15 knots. I don't know how much I believe it. Out of ammo, basically. Out of forward ammo. All visibility is seriously dropping. At this point. Okay, so that's the enemy destroyer right there. Kind of near it, but... Oh! Oh, would you look at where it's run to! Okay, it can't run anymore. That stupid Vidney's gonna be annoying. I don't want it to torpedo me. Alright, swerve... Oh, the more 5-inch hits we score on that Vidney, the better. And now we are basically a 14-inch arm pre dread What? Wow, they actually had battleships! I didn't know that! Oh my god, they had... What? When did they have battleships deployed? Okay, run away. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, our other two are the Mikasa class, which are terrible battleships. Got baited. Yes, I did. Alright, go broadside to them. We still have 14 inch guns. And now we have all three of our battleships here. Hitting them with 5 inch shells. Heisen is certainly taking damage, though. Wow. That was completely, utterly unexpected. And it's over. We won, though. We had one battleship lightly damaged. We did some heavy, medium damage to their destroyers. Uh, so, Heisen, lightly damaged. But then we did manage to do some significant damage to that battleship. Uh, only three 14 chits. It was slowed down to 18 knots. So we were slightly able to catch up. This destroyer almost sank. So that was the one we pump multiple hits into and then this destroyer took you know mostly five engineer misses in that hit and everything else was undamaged okay no oh, enemy marginal victory wow I'm kind of surprised fighting continues in Sacklin okay I'm just gonna keep on building up the money right now I don't think that there's that you know what I could use more subs that's what I could use right now Yes, yeah, so I will accept the fleet battle and support of land combat. I will accept this, too. Okay, so we have... Only one of our C... Oh, wait, no, Ismo's up here. What are you doing, Ismo? Form up on Tokiba as a core group. And then you guys are a scout, probably. The other guys are a scout, probably, I think. Yeah. Sing two ships over here. Alright, head over here and just see what there is to sink. Unidentified ship spotted. Hmm, can seals do anti I don't think so. I don't think I don't think they can. It would be amazing if they could. Alright, so that's a small merchant, and that's one of the enemy heavy or that's the enemy heavy cruiser division, which is currently active. Army cruiser division, I should say. Uh they're running. And we have caught the small merchant now. It's very dead. Okay, we'll let them run. They can go into port. That small merchant sinking. Very, very probably. 
Oh, Isabel has decided to go off into nowhere. I could fight that thing. Don't go this way. Yeah, you don't want to fight, do you? What is that? Corvette of some description? Okay. Yeah, the Russians are behaving very, very cowardly this war, it seems. Strategic mine layer CL with ASW capabilities would be worth its weight in gold? Possibly. Although, mine layers might um, kind of suck at ASW duty. Alright, we've accomplished our objective, but there's a merchant over here. Which is probably going to get away. However, there's another merchant over here. Hey, guess what, other merchant? You don't have anywhere to run to. Goodbye. Alright, that is, uh... And that is a coastal battery, so just go away from that. Yes. Oh, hey, hold on. Something went back out to sea again. No, it's going back into port. Well, yes, I'll say yes to all. Rescue survivors, and let's just head out. I think they'll be able to rescue survivors from that one, or already have. Alright. That was successful. Multiple Russian ships are sunk. Russia is just completely choking this war. I mean, of course they would. They're at war against three powers. There's no way they'd be able to win. Okay, we're good. Yeah, on the scenario. Yep, we went. Nothing else happened. Gain one prestige. Hey, main battery wing turrets. That'll be really good for new uh, battleship. Ah, oh, French lost a pre-dreadnought. You know, if we look at the map... No, if we look at invasion range... Okay, we only have our invasion range, so we can't really do stuff from that. You know, other than stuff down here. So no no more invasions. As much as I want to use main battery wing turrets, uh, we don't have the budget right now. Hey, yeah, I'll accept. Cruiser action, I'll accept. British South Korea triggers me. <laughs> yeah, Britain just kind of went in and took South Korea. I'll probably need to take it from them in the future. Um, when they're not an ally, maybe in the World War II timeline. Okay. Yeah, I'll continue searching. We're not seeing them. No, I will not continue searching. Oh, they had a battleship. They just ran that way. Interesting. Enemy fortifications are holding up our advance. Does Russia have a dreadnought yet? No, they don't. And, you know, them being blockaded is probably really, really not helping them. Yeah, I'll accept that. Oh, hey. Russia accepts. What happens if I accept destroyer actions? If the game generates me destroyer actions, I can't take them. Because I don't have any. Uh, wait, give me British destroyers, maybe? Alright, do we see anything? Yeah, I'll continue searching. Corvettes or CLs? Maybe. What are these guys? Oh my god. I think this was supposed to be a destroyer action. Because I don't have any destroyers, I got a heavy cruiser. Or not a heavy, an armored cruiser. <laughs> Hello there, Russian destroyers. I think these guys can outrun me, though. They can go 26 knots. What's speed limited to right now? 28 knots, yeah. 
Oh, you don't have anywhere to go, do you now? Start moving a little bit ahead of them this way. Now they're heading this way. Start moving on this intercept course. Shoot them. That is your target. Izumo. Okay, Izumo has apparently started firing secondaries. But I don't think her primaries are firing. Yeah, Izumo, there's no other target for you. Just shoot them. Shoot them with everything you have. Hey, 5-inch shell hit. Score enough 5-inch shell hits and one of them will slow down and you'll be able to catch them and win the battle and that'll help the land invasion for some reason. Okay. Just keep running. Yeah, nothing much changed there. Run until you get there. I might have scored a hit. Yeah, we scored a 5-inch hit there. One of them slowed down. I wouldn't be surprised if the uh, this guy is going to be able to get away. Damn it. Damn it, Izumo. You did not need for that to happen. They game DD engagements, they get 10 destroyers, you spawn in CVs with bombers, yep. And then the destroyers still win because it's night time. <laughs> Balance. Alright, so I think that destroyer's gotten, yeah, they've gotten away. I'm going back to Wackenite. It's a draw, minor victory on our side, probably, because we actually scored some hits. Light damage to this one from, looks like, Two or yeah, two five-inch hits, two five-inch near misses. I thought we'd done a little more. Apparently, we did manage to get a five-inch hit on that one too. So they were both Vidney classes. We got one of the classes wrong, and then they had a Boiky class somewhere, which was a little better. Hey, we got thirty victory points. So I think Naniwa got damaged, right? Yeah. Okay, it's only a damage, not a sink, not a sunk. All right, come on. Yes, accept. Oh, hey, awesome! We get some uh, British protected cruisers here, along with one of our own. All right, squad max. Let's see, what are you? Oh, of course it would. Of course, that's what it would be. An enemy CA armed with only 6-inch guns. Okay, yep, that's bad. Alright, swerve around. We need to get in this convoy somehow. But it's night time now. Okay, normal speed. So it's difficult to tell what's what here. These are destroyers, I'm guessing? Alright, so we've sunk one. Those are two destroyers up there. We are still taking hits. We're not in too bad of shape, though. Yeah, okay, they definitely have destroyers in this area. Oh, don't get yourself torpedoed, moron. I think the merchants are shooting us. Okay. So, that destroyer has been sunk. This merchant's burning and is probably sinking. This merchant's pretty crippled. This merchant's pretty crippled. I... We're circling around AMC right now. Small merchant. There's the enemy uh, cruiser again. Alright, start moving this way. What are you guys doing? Yeah, you're supposed to be a core group. So he just broke into that formation and 
hit a bunch. Imagine being sunk by a ship with your crewmates surrounding you, one of the lucky souls to have picked up by the hostile ship that blew your vessel up, shivering with your head down. You ask them if they're Japanese, a pause, and in the thickest British accent you can manage. Hi. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that, is, that is this situation. Alright, so that... Okay, yeah, those guys have been pretty crippled. Okay. I'm hoping that they can get her flooding. Okay, they've mostly gotten her flooding under control. Okay, so I think... Is this guy sinking? Yeah, it's sinking. Yeah, Latona should detach. So we saw more down this way. Maybe there, here? You can request for two joke. Um, yeah, what joke Corvettes are you wanting? Alright, so I'm not seeing where the rest of these guys went. So the nearest... Oh, hold on. What are you? That is an enemy traitor. Okay, cool. Soda, no... Bunaga and Japcan? Okay, I don't know what the... F okay, I'd have to... Actually understand what those mean. Alright, go down 10 knots, because that's just what we're going to go away with, and head to that port. That's probably the nearest port we can go to. Okay, she can only go 9 now. So, certainly a good chance we lose that uh, British light cruiser. Oh, it makes it, it makes it. Good job, Britain. You have your uh, Phoebe class light cruiser survived. Basically, the guy who unified Japan soda can. <laughs> ah. Making soda jokes there. Okay, so this destroyer just. Yeah. Five inch hits, and then torpedo tubes explode, more, more five inch hits, and just sank. So, what happened to Latona there at the end? So, that was multiple six inch hits. Just uh, wrecking it. Machinery damaged by splinters. So that did significant damage. I have no idea if that means what... I, I don't know if that means what I think it means, or if that means that, or if that means something completely different and you're trying to trick me. Um, now, one thing I am allowing is if uh, anybody wants any real-world uh, Japanese destroyer names in this campaign, since the destroyer name list isn't being used, um, I can apply them to other ships. Um, that's only if anybody wants them, and it has to be historical. Um, you know, preferably a Wikipedia page showing the, that whatever destroyer that is. Oh no, not those jewels. <laughs> yeah, five inch uh, hits. I'd have to run it through like Google Translator or something, just to double check. I don't, know, I don't even know if that would work. Um... So yeah, that was an AMC which got sunk, and then Chioda, multiple hits, multiple six-inch hits mostly, and then all the merchants here sunk. So they still managed to get a bunch of them out. Wow, Russia won? What? Because of all the damage. But we achieved our objective. Alright, next turn, cruiser action here. Yeah, I don't know. Hey, fleet battle, accept. Russia, battleship engagement, accept. Awesome. This is a shirt called Kamikaze. We can make that our first torpedo seal. I like how you think. That's a good one. Um, first, like, proper built um, torpedo CL. Alright, so. Normal speed. What do we have here? Because I'm sitting here with uh, two or three battleships, and they have two battleships. Alright. 
And we do have gunfire training on. We can get all of our guns firing. And these are both Shikishimas. Bet you every crewman on that ship are extremely religious. Yes. Yes, that would be the case. Uh, six inch gun hit on that one. And Fuji took a probably a 12 inch hit there. Yep. How are we losing this gunfight? Alright, do a slight turn this way. Come on, hit them hard. Land some hits with your... There we go. How many did we get there? What did we get? That was 5 inch, 6 inch, 12 inch there. 6 inch, uh, medium... Or that hit us and then we got another 6 inch hit. So we only scored one 12 inch there. Heisen, land with... Land a hit with your 14 inches. You've got great guns. Use them. You know what would be fun is if I could force him into one of these mines. So if we do this, if we take this sort of path, and we did manage several uh, hits there. Nope, doesn't look like it. Didn't like a pants. <laughs> kind of religious. Yeah, very, very, very possibly. But I do like that. I do like the name Kamikaze. Hockeyman is a ship name or hull. Japanese God of War. Okay. No, not, a, not a bad name, assuming that's true. Again, people on the internet. Uh, we did score a hit there. What was it? I don't know. Five inch hit, maybe. We're like, oh shit, oh shit, I hope it doesn't blow up. Yep. Okay, yeah. You guys go to a support role. We don't need a scout anymore. So how damaged are these guys? Light and medium. They're going 15 knots, which is a very, very good sign. Well, we're reporting them going at 15 knots. We are landing more 5-inch hits. But nothing really major at the moment. That was a, one of those was a six inch. We took a, uh, oh come on, we took another heavy hit. Can any of our heavy guns actually land on target here, please? Hey, there we go. As soon as I say it, we hit the, this guy. He's swerving. No, I don't need, I don't want that. Ah, uh, what was it? Oh, hey, we scored two 14-inch hits on her. Oh, my God, she has slowed to a stop. Um, she's still active. All right, just swerve a little bit. Do a small swerve. Turn back in. Yes. With this battle gen RNG, we need a coffin dance command. They also made a Japanese cover. Want to be appropriate? Okay, so good news is uh, this battleship's dead. Well, it's not dead, but you know, I don't, I don't think it's recovering from this damage. And now we just continue to chase down the lead one here and leave this guy to sink. Yeah, okay, so now we're actually firing on the proper one in front of us. It's still alive somehow. It's That thing's still floating. It would be nice to, like, have it surrender and capture it, but that's not a thing in this game. Alright, Heisen, I need you to go 20 knots. One issue, though, is that there's a Russian port over up this way. So it could always escape into there. Japanese heavy guns missing is sad, ironic, at Shakespearean levels of sad irony. It's the what's up with the huge knife sale today, <laughs> Julius Caesar type sad irony. Yep. Okay. So now we're just chasing down this last, uh, last pre-dread. 
But I'm pretty certain that that other one was sinking. It was dead in the water and on fire after having taken a lot of uh, hits from just all sorts of calibers of guns. Heisen is 19 knots capable at the moment. I assume she's been slowed by f oh slowed by grates fouling. Ships haven't done or the hits haven't done anything more than superstructure damage. Out of ammo for guns that bear bridge damage, unfortunately, limits flooding. Right, Heisen's problem is that her forward gun can't fire much right now, so Heisen needs to swerve. I think it's run. It's successfully gotten away. Do that. Alright. That Vidney class destroyer is now circling. And is now running up to the north. We'll see if we can hit them while they return to port. No, what I'm going to do is I'm going to swerve out to the side. Because I think at this point we've lost them and swerved back down. Yep, okay, so they lost that battleship. It sank. That destroyer took heavy damage. So that's good. So, yeah, it was initially just kind of firing tur disabled 12-inch superstructure hits. There's all over 5-inch hits, and then... 14-inch engine room hit non-penetration. 14-inch engine room hit belt extended engines disabled. Oof. Touches because of heavy flooding, and then this just starts happening. So it repairs its machinery. It starts to get underway again, but it's already too late. Yeah. And actually, that one didn't penetrate. That was another engine room hit. So their belt armor actually did, did hold up pretty well. Um, fire spreads... Yeah, fire spreads, but it was... It, I, I would assume that its ends were just shot through at this point, before an aft end. Fire spread. Yeah, five... Lots of five-inch hits there. Or a few five-inch hits there. Oh, it was on 146 uh, flooding, and it doesn't look like it was going down. So Heisen took light damage. A few 12-inch hits, a few 6-inch hits. Nothing too major. At worst, she'll be out for a month. This one only took the two heavy hits, so I don't know where those were. Maybe around here, hall pass through. Yeah. Um, I can't find the second. Oh yeah, two hall pass through hits, so nothing much on that one. Its grates were just fouled, so yeah. This one, three Fuji took three heavy hits, uh, three twelve inch hits. Nothing major, and then Vidney did a lot of damage to its structure. Um, jammed its rudder, but just weren't able to capitalize on that. So, it escaped. But the good news is, that is one uh, Russian battleship sunk, and we lose a corvette. That is our first corvette lost. That's our... To be fair, though, every single ship we've lost right now has been sunk by a submarine. Alright, so Heisen's out for a month, unfortunately, which, uh, isn't exactly the greatest. New PP spawn and heighten the enemy has 30 DTs. Japanese version coffin dance. Yep, yeah, okay, now now I saw that. I didn't see that on Discord before. Oh! Oh crap, our, these guys are old now. They're gonna need a rebuild soon. Um, and, uh, thank you, Erebus Nietzsche, for the follow. And, uh, welcome to the Nameless Follower Group thingy, I suppose. Um, I don't have a good name for it. Okay, Battle and Sport of Land Combat, come on. Cruiser action, I'll accept. Hey, Battle and Sport of Land Combat. Uh, oh, we get, we get battleships. Unfortunately, we don't have our Dreadnought. N shit. <laughs> yeah, German, I assume. Maybe. Okay, come on. Okay, so we've identified two ships here. So I'm not going to go at full speed yet. So we have Asahi, Mikasa, and Iki. Um, so, not the greatest. It's German, but it's pronounced as uh, Nicht. Okay. Erebus Nicht. Okay. Yeah. So it, it can outrun us. We need to attack whatever convoy they have. But we do have Ismo and Tokiwa here as well. 
So I'm going to order... Yeah, you know what? Be the screen. That's still a fine roll. Actually, yeah, be a screen. Because that's still additional 10-inch guns. Alright, so the convoy is somewhere up here. That battleship's running. It knows we have three battleships. Now, Mikasa and Iki aren't very well armed. Uh, Sahi is well armed. And the three of them combined should be able to easily overpower a Russian battleship. Now, the, now the question is... Well, that question's now answered for me. Where was the convoy? Oh, it's going to be nighttime. Great. This is going to be annoying. Why are, why are these always at night? Oh, hey, that battleship's turned around. It is crossing our T. At the moment. Um, I'm going to start moving this way so that we can get more guns firing on it sooner. Okay, so we can only go 17 knots right now, but we have found the traders. Or the merchants. Alright. This is concerning. So we know they're up here. Or up here somewhere. They were kind of sail. The traders are up here. The ships were kind of sailing in this direction. They might be passing just south of us. Or, or they're maneuvering up to defend the convoy again. Yep, that's the enemy battleship. In the meantime... Yeah! I don't think they like that. Okay, so that is an armored merchant cruiser. It doesn't have any torpedoes. Sink it. At any rate, I hate German with a passion. How Frankfurt is pronounced uh, Nick simile to how you pronounce it? Okay. And that would be a nicht. Alright, so that's... Oh, hey, look. There's the battleship again. Hello there, old friend. Disabled. We're scoring hits on it. We're taking hits, unfortunately, but... Sahi is certainly taking some damage here. Fire control damage. So it was certainly doing damage. Um, let's just pull off a bit. I think our mission's done. The convoy's dead. Head back to uh, Shauna. Uh, there could have been more convoy there, but we did kind of just go through and slaughter what was presented to us. And that is one very, very, very dead convoy now. That convoy. Those lines of ships just, yeah, yeah, just got wrecked. You mean, you know, three pre-dreadnoughts, some light cruisers, some armor cruisers. It's more a guttural pronounce, pronunciation of the subtle H sound in uh, Nicked. I can't say that. Nicked. Yeah, no, I'm not going to get that. I'm not going to get that, like, immediately here. Maybe if I practiced for a while. Yep, that's a victory. So, yeah, there are Merchant Cruiser. Kaluga was sunk. Into German seven, not even Germany. Okay. So, Asahi took more damage, unfortunately. Um, seven heavy hits, eight medium hits. I would do it. Uh... Or if Stavi didn't quite take as much. So it was mostly 10-inch hits going against it. So the 12-inch guns from Asai were just not scoring. Izumo also took some 12-inch and 6-inch uh, fire, but it was okay. Australian, Bavarians or Aust Austrians, not Australians. <laughs> just Australians in Italy, yeah, sure. Um, Aust Australians called everybody Nazis in Italy. <laughs> Yeah, no, uh, Bavarians or Austrians. Okay. Oh, yeah, Icky took a little bit of damage, too. 
meet single medium hit, single six inch shell hit, and then this destroyer we actually did manage to get a couple hits into, but it didn't sink. So yeah, uh, I will take that. That is a convoy dead. Well then, um, apparently we have torpedo boats now. I didn't know that. Hey, uh, new research area, naval aviation lighter than air, and we've taken control of Sakhalin. So, there we go. Um, yeah, your move, Russia. Hmm, I'm gonna honestly lay down a new cruiser. So what I want to do is I want to take, you know what, research-wise, uh, in terms of machinery development, we currently do not have steam turbines. Which would be really, really, really nice about now. So 6-inch guns are quality 0, 5-inch guns are quality 1. Hmm. Probably don't want. Probably don't want those. Ah, I, I'm gonna save up my money. Still, we're still kind of low on money, and I'll be able to build a new docks here soon. Yeah, accept that. Accept that. Compar comparable to the Bremen region, then. Yeah, and I'm just sitting here in America. Although, to be fair, the South. I'm not. I'm not in the South, but. Yeah. Okay, so what what is our objective here? Do we not have one? Oh no, it's an enemy raid on coastal shipping. Is it just two destroyers again? It's actually not that great at night. Oh, nope. Battleship? Gotta be an armored cruiser. Gotta be an armored cruiser. It's gotta be. We've hit it multiple times, whatever it is. Yeah, it's identified as an armored cruiser now. Yep, there we go. And it has been completely separated from its uh, forces. Imagine coal levels of industrialization, but Dresden tier mentality. I'm not really going to get all these uh, European things, but I know you guys will. Oh, come on, Matsushima. Don't, don't get yourself wrecked. Oh, they had a Corvette. Just passing by. Anger Germans is being the language I hate the most. Use the least and know the smallest in vocabulary and sell the only one I don't have an accent. In British Admiralty investigating Japanese naval command. Serene, calm, respectful senior officer teaching their junior officers the art of war. Hard cut to the Russian Admiralty. Just one single douche running around collecting messages going Seika, Seika, Seika. How do you say that? I know I'm mispronouncing that. Okay, so you guys stay at squad max. You know what? Ismo's in the lead. Oh, we can only go 22 knots now, apparently. So it's probably trying to regroup with its friends. With its escorts. Yep, called it. That's a destroyer. Turn away. I mean, that destroyer did get hit. Suka. Suka Bliet. Okay. Yeah. Not Suka Bliet. Ah, uh, Suka. I, I think. Yeah. Suka. We're collecting messages going, Suka, Suka, Suka. I forget what it means, but I think it's a swear. But I know that. I know Suka Bliet is, like, something they say a lot in, uh, like, first person shooters or whatever. Wow! Oh, you seriously let yourself do that, you nebby. Seriously. Shit, or equivalent. Yeah. Good news is, this thing has now been struck by multiple tenant shells, and looks to have been significantly slowed down. That was a six-inch hit. 
You know, if I can trade a light cru or a protected cruiser for a armored cruiser, that's a good trade. It's on fire now! Hooray! I think I keep saying uh, heavy cruiser because I was playing so much of the late game recently. And now I'm back in the early game again and I'm having to correct myself mentally. Well, it's dead. Oh god, no. That was not what I was expecting. Turn away, turn away. Okay. Whatever that one is, it's damage, certainly. Oh, that is a light cruiser. Hooray. Is it dead? I think its machinery is just dead. But now I wouldn't be surprised if it's actually, like, about to sink. See, it went down quicker than it did. Oh my god. Chat today. I'm fine with this. I'm fine with this chat. Come on. Vesta. Vesta. Sink. Oh wait, no. I have to look here. Yeah, it's sinking. So what I want to do is I was going to hang out near Unebi until the daytime. See if I can rescue survivors from her. So, uh, what shape is Matsushima? And she's okay. For now. So that's two uh, Russian ships sunk. International Oh, God. Alright, go to the uh, palm yacht here. Good. And then... Where did the other one go down? Over here-ish? I think so. Oh, well. We won. Let's go back to port. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm not even, like, responding to these messages anymore. Okay, no ships are inside of each other. We win. So we lost a light cruiser. Or a protected cruiser, unfortunately. But, yeah, they... They, they destroyed... So, yep. Some multiple 10 inch hits. What eventually got it? So, I think this is where we started really hitting it. And probably just slowed it down, had some flooding. Fla okay, so turret flash fire, two turrets burnt out. That was their best friend. Oh, God. Yeah, turret flash fire, two turrets burnt out. Critical fire control damaged. And then. Knocked out by splinters, fire spread. So it was on fire 7 at that point. Dear God. So it was... How much... F I, I can't even see how much... Okay, so it was at zero flooding there, but it, at this point it was probably at a lot of flooding. And then, yeah, Tokiwa just scored a 10 shit on its forward turret, and it exploded. Um, so the enemy Vesta class, so it was launching torpedoes. It identified us as a battleship. Interesting. Interesting. It identified uh, our ships as uh, Shikishimas, rather than what they actually were. Um, then it just starts taking all the six-inch, ten-inch hits, and so. It... Okay, so that was early, and then this is kind of that first contact, and this is the second contact, and it just dies. And then Unebi, what well, got the torpedo hit? Vidney just got a lucky torpedo hit. Matsushima, I assume that was all. Yeah, that uh, armored cruiser Ismo. Yeah, those Russian ships received posthumous Swiss citizenships for having more holes than Mister uh, Emmental could dream of. Yeah, I've I've seen more holes in ships though. So then this Vidney class destroyer took a few hits and survived. It. Vidney herself escaped undamaged, despite torpedoing my uh, protected cruiser. So yeah, the loss of Unebi is not good. Yeah, crush them completely. Yeah, you're blockaded, Russia. What are you going to do? Okay, we're nine months away from the completion of Congo. I'm going to build larger docks, because I need larger docks. And once we're four months away, I'll probably lay down a new uh, dreadnought. Coastal bombardment. Yeah, I'll take it. Russia's 
Russia's been getting their ass kicked in this war. They've lost. They've completely lost at this point. We've taken their territory and sunk a lot of their ships and they're blockaded this whole time in Europe and can't do anything about it. There's no way for them to win. Early USSR? Maybe. Let's create the Soviet Union in 1910. Okay, so there's bombardment target. Is that the escorting? Nope. Is that a traitor? That's a merchant. Hello, merchant. Hello there, little merchant. Time for you to die. It's dead. That's cursed. I bet Lennon doesn't even have people. Oh my god. Okay. Bombardment target's getting destroyed. Oh, we sight. That's gotta be the escort division, whatever that is. It's probably not wanting to mess with us as we're destroying this bombardment target over here. Was it Lenin like... Yeah, Lenin was pretty old, though, when the USSR was established. So, yeah, he's probably still... He's probably not that much... He's probably still good age right now. You know, well into adulthood at this point. Okay, bombardment target's dead. Hello there, destroyer. Run away. You know what? Here, let's go this way. It's just a destroyer. It's going to outrun us. It's just a little Vidney class destroyer. Those things have been really annoying, but... Oh, well. Hey, look. Another ship over here. Hey, another merchant. Hello there, little merchant. How do you like uh, armored cruiser? Do you enjoy your little taste of armored cruiser? There you go, you did. You yeah, didn't the whole pro-revolution, the counter-revolution with the whole pro-USR versus white Russia? Yeah. Uh, they did have that. Okay, you know what, let's just, let's just head home. We've already won this. You destroyed their bombardment target and sank a couple of merchants, and that's gonna hurt them. Lenin grew up under a socialist regime. He'd grown up in, in and ran 60 years earlier than her. Must have been legal age when he got deported to Switzerland. Yeah. Yeah. Good battle. They only had two destroyers deployed. We win. We get a prestige point for that. The Russian ship CA Varyog has been heavily damaged. Oh, hey, Russia has a actual dreadnought in service now. Interesting. 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 It's actually not as good as a uh, Heisen. And it's probably still in Northern Europe, because they have to prevent a blockade there. Yeah, fleet size cruiser action, fleet battle, yeah, let's up these. Yeah, the points difference is massive at this point. I'll accept. Okay, interesting. Oh, hey, we have French uh, ships this battle. Heisenberg. What? I don't know. Oh, okay, so they provided us with a uh, armored cruiser. That's good. We were prob... Yeah, we were fighting these things. Uh, not even... Like a half decade ago, we were fighting these things, I think. Anything else they provided us with? Oh, hey, two destroyers. We actually have destroyers in this engagement. Hooray! Secondary battery, yeah. That thing's just chock full of secondaries. Or as we go a little more primary battery focused. Hey, un un uh, unknown ship sighted over here. Okay, that's definitely the end. That's whatever the enemy force is, and that's a very dead merchant. Okay, go this way. Patrol around here. It's just a dead merchant. Don't bother with it. We need to find something else to sink. Anything here? Is that a merchant? 
It is. That thing was running away from us way faster than it should have. Okay, what are these? They're identified as light cruisers at the moment. They're probably just destroyers, to be honest. Yep. That's kind of what I expected. Stupidest idea make... Or, stupid, stupidest idea ever. Make a BC, max primary casemates, max secondary casemates, max tertiary casemates. Sonic the Speedy Porcupine. Get recreation of Russian admiral creating their first dreadnought. So what if we make a bigger ship? Well, you can ship to meet you. That's, dream, that's genius. Still having to fuck the poor. We need all those resources. Strat. Or stat. Probably. Alright, so they just have a couple of destroyers annoyingly circling around. Oh, hey, that's not a destroyer. No way. No way, that would have to be separated from the formation. Where'd it go? There it is. What are you? Hey, third traitor. It's dead. Hey, look, it's about to be daytime. Okay, that... Wait. That's a Corvette. Oh, we just scored a 10 and shit on that destroyer? Hopefully. Something's running away down here. I think we just scored another 10 and shit on it, if that report's accurate. But I think it's gonna make it into port. That would be more battle than cruiser. Yeah. Alright, so we saw something down here. Okay. That, that's the enemy destroyer division going into port. I'll make it the 5 knot max speed. BB with like 50 inches armor. I don't think you can do 50 inches, but... Yeah. There's some thought about doing that, but then you just get torpedoed. That, that That is called a torpedo magnet. And the problem is it wouldn't be able to keep up with anything, so... You do definitely... Or it would struggle a little bit. Okay, come on. Guys. Go away. And there we go. So we sank the required number of ships, damage destroyed. They still had a merchant out. Oh, that was a merchant we saw over there, but we just weren't able to find it again. Uh... Oh, God. France. How'd you lose that, France? Do you have anything you'd like to say, France? Not a ship, it's just a sea... It's a seabed feature, just anchor it. Yeah. Alright, so Congo is six turns away. Cruiser action here, I'll accept. So it was in the yard. Um... Eh, no thanks. Oh, hey, high, high capacity pumps, that's good. And then, one more turn. Cruiser action. They decline. Convoy defense, we accept. And then we have, uh... Two cruisers. Okay, so we encounter something here. Don't know what it is. Destroyer. So they have two dis they're trying to attack a convoy with two destroyers. Oh yeah, you guys just hang out near the convoy. Although somehow I think I'm not going to say we lost that gunfight, but they scored more hits on us than we did on them. However, they have decided for some stupid reason to come back up at us. You will regret that. Oh, hey, we're actually closing in with them somehow. So they're probably going, uh, squad max right now. One of them's probably going to detach here relatively soon. Okay, so that one is getting has been hammered by 5-inch shells, and this guy over here is heavily damaged. Pursue and sink. Or, pursue it and sink it. 
Okay, we're saying medium to heavy damage, it seems. There we go. That was a 5-inch uh, shell hit. And they lost. We successfully defended that convoy, and that is two enemy destroyers sinking. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay down probably a new dreadnought. So I want to build it in a local yard, first of all. Do we have 14-inch guns? No, we don't. So we can do 13-inch guns. I do want to do a 21-knot uh, top speed. I'll keep the armor the same at the moment. I'll decrease the conning tower armor to 9 um, for now. Um, I'll, I'll increase the size to 20... I'll see about 23,000 to start. So I'm going to get rid of R. Double turret. Uh, F and K. With cross deck fire enabled. So here's the question. Do I want to do F and K or G and J? Um, I forget which one is... You know, I'll do G and J. I'll do G and J this time. F and K is very common. G and J is not quite as common. Okay, so we do have to build this thing to uh, its full displacement. I can't quite get the extra um, gun I was hoping to get. Uh, as a not fan of Crosdick. No, we need more turrets. Um, yeah, no, we need. We do need these turrets. Actually, you know, I'm gonna start from back here. It would be nice if this war could end so I could build two of these guys. Do that. Go back there. And then kinda go around there. No, get rid of that guy. Actually, wait, no, get rid of this guy. Put this funnel down just in the center. And uh, structure 2 needs to kind of be... I'll say this. Structure 3. I'll say structure 3 will be this. So structure 4 will go down here. You know, I will do something like this. It would be really nice to get the uh, steam turbines here. That would be a good tech to unlock. Although we are going to be a little bit behind in technology because I am using a, a lower research rate. It's been a while since I've made, like, a really good design in terms of this, and this one isn't that super great. It'll do. It still has all the, uh... Oh, wait, we have Torpedo Protection 1. Okay, so now we have an issue. So, we need to save some weight somewhere. Hmm. I'll do some number of secondaries down by 1 for the moment, to start out with, um, gun data, I would like to keep that armor, Be only splinter protection on the belt extended, maybe go down to a ten and a half inch belt, and get the extra second, or five inch secondary, because my five inch uh, secondaries are better quality than my six inch ones, no I don't want in Iwami anymore. So we'll save it as Aki then. And Aki will get laid down when Congo's complete. Except, come on, Russia. Um. Press for hard terms.
Apparently, pressing for hard terms does not work. Hey, right, we're about to get two subs done, though. Hey, cruiser action, accept. Hey, we get allied uh, French ships. Unknown ship sighted. What are these? Are they actually... They are actually battleships. Hmm. Nope. And you guys stop being scouts. You guys go to supports. Or the support role. Run away. Was it a little attack? No. Not this early in the game. Destroyers this early in the game are, gar are garbage. It, it would just cost us more points. And probably not kill the enemy. I would have loved to have pursued there, but, you know, way too risky. Way too risky of a, fly of a fight. Uh, three CAs versus two Russian battleships. Yeah, they won anyway. They were able to lightly damage us to get the first hits. Mission two more subs. Uh, another French light cruiser's been... Or protected cruiser's been sunk. I'm gonna build two more subs. Only two more. I think it's a good idea to build another uh, protected cruiser. Maybe like a half-sister to the Yeyama here. Build a Yeyama, but with torpedo defense. That might not be that bad of an option. And more uh, torpedoes. So I'll do uh, three inch uh, casemates on it to just kind of eat up some of the extra tonnage and then those can be removed some other time. Oh yeah, central firing. Accept that. They decline. Accept. They decline. Oh hey, we have double torpedo mounts now. Um, can't use them until we get them on other ships though. These guys don't have central firing though, so they should probably get central firing. Okay. Come on. Accept. Russian Navy declines. Accept. They decline. Congo's commissioned. I'll, I can take a tension hit with Italy to get a bit more budget. Oh, hey, now we have better 12-inch guns. Uh, not now on hash a day. Rework the design. That is good enough for me to rework the design, because I think that these better 12-inch guns are going to do better than the 13-inch guns, right? So... Let's see. If we go 13 inch guns, so it's 9 point, so they can shoot out to 14,000 yards, these can shoot out to 15,000 yards, gun, or penetration 9.409 there, and then 9.215, so 13 inch have maybe slightly better penetration, ooh, I probably will not rework the design. But the 12-inch guns are lighter, and we'd be able to get another... Could we get another turret in? Not quite. So I think I will build the Aki as is. As well as Hash Date. It does have Rate of Fire, but I, th I think that the 13s are going to be better in this case. Okay, come on. Not buy what we can do up for ourselves. I can take a small budget hit or tension hit with France. Um, we can take that tension hit. This war has been going on for 24 months and is completely and utterly pointless now. Doesn't quality affect accuracy? I, maybe. Hey, fleet battle. Accept. Cruise action. Accept. Wait, what? Formosa? How? Where? How? Why? Russia, what are you doing down here? Is, is it... Okay, it is It is a light cruiser, though. 
or a protected cruiser. Ten five inch guns. It's fast. It's faster than uh, our Takachiho, but our Takachiho is better armed. Probably, unless they have a five inch quality one guns. At which point, maybe it could go either way. You know, we have an additional set of five inch guns here. Hopefully our fire control is better too. I don't know what that fire control is. Okay, so we took a superstructure hit, but we're scoring five inch shell hits. Whatever it is, it's not... Well, no, we know what it is, but it doesn't seem to want to fight us anymore. Although now we're kind of damaged too. You know, even just merely significantly damaging this thing in the, re in the region might force it to be interned. Because Russia doesn't have any bases here. There's nowhere for this ship to go. And we need to just continue chasing it off. Hey look, we have a sub in the area. I hope that sub can do something. Okay. We did score several more. Five inch shell hits on it. Yeah, it's looking in worse shape than we are. Even though we're still taking some hits, we're not in the best of shape right now. The fact that it's slowed down and is continuing to take hits is an indicator that we are winning. Yeah. This Vesta class is dead. Yeah, there you go. More 5 inch hits. It's on heavy damage. It's gonna sink. Right? There we go. That's all the 5 inch hits we needed. And now it's starting to land some nasty hits on us. Great. But it's on fire. Okay, so that was probably 50% ammunition. And they lose. We lose our sub, though. What happened to our sub? Failed to return. Damn it. Yeah, this thing. 51 medium hits. Yeah. Just look at all the 5-inch hits we scored on this thing. So it wanted to engage us, and because of that, it lost. And it lost badly to uh, Takajiho. Now we have steam turbines! Hooray! So the Ak Aki's already obsolete at this point. Um... Okay, so... I'm gonna scrap her. I'm, I think it's actually worth it to scrap her at this point. Scrap Aki and uh, design a new design. So one issue now is that I now need to move one of... You know what? We're only gonna have an issue for one turn. Um, it would take a turn to move a ship down there anyway. So, the Aki design. Aki, you yourself get, uh, you know, open the design. Um, so I'll save this. I won't construct it yet. So, 11-inch belt. Actually, it didn't give us that much more speed. And next turn, we get larger docks anyway. Hmm. I'll I'll stay I'll stick with it. Screw it. Steam turbines didn't give me as much as I thought it would. Cruiser action, except they decline. Except they decline. Hey, new docks finished. Um, handle it quietly and discreetly. And now that one's been in turn. Larger docks might be able to fit. Yeah, I'm j I'm just gonna leave it building as is. Oh, now we have a fuel. S well, we're using coal, so it doesn't matter. Come on, Russia, collapse already. You are screwed. You are dying. Cruiser action. Accept. Um, press for hard terms. The friendship Friedland has been sunk. It seems like Russia's winning a lot in Europe, though. Despite them being blockaded and declining every battle down here. And they're just not backing out of war. I actually kind of hope that they collapse and then I can take, like, uh, Kamchatka or something. 
and then I can name a ship Kamchatka. Hey, Coastal Bombardment Mission. Okay, we're actually in battle again. So what I'll probably do is I'll probably play through this war and then call the stream to a close after that. Um, because I, I don't think much else is going to happen this war. Oh, hey, what's that? They've got a ship over here. What are you? Oh, it is actually a pre-dreadnought. Wow. Pull away, pull away. You know what? We can overwhelm it with light fire. If that's the only ship they have, long streams are more fun. Well, I think long episodes on YouTube are less fun. So that's kind of the concern I have. Okay, so we're starting to land 10-inch hits on it, and 5-inch hits on it. Hey, Battleship, come back here! Hello, enemy Battleship, make a cut. But then that requires editing. You know, I could cut the live stream, though. I don't know. I, I'm liking to hold my live stream to two hours at the moment. Or about two hours at the moment. There we go, multiple six-inch hits. Show you the power flux tape I saw this stream in half. But yeah, part of the issue with that is it requires me to download the stream and then use video editing software, cut it in half, and then upload it. Oh, it's on fire. It's on fire. Split off a little bit. Look at that. Look at all those shells. We're just jamming into it now. Oh, yeah. Look at look at this battleship. It's just... Should we start the stream after a 10-second pause? I could, yeah. Um, I'm kind of not feeling like it right now. But, yeah, maybe for a future one. At the two-hour mark, I'll cut it. There's also some thought about, you know, maybe reducing the episodes like one hour apiece and then cutting the streams at every hour or something. I'm not going to do that this uh, this game, but I might do it uh, next next series. Look at how look at how badly this battleship here has been beaten. Yeah, Izumo and Tokiwa are just having their way with uh, this Imperator Alexander II. And she's dead in the water, and she's sinking. Okay, you defeated their defense force. Go in and destroy the bombardment target. Let's start more YouTube episodes, longer streams, so you can switch games if the RNG has you hating. Yeah. So I'll, pro I'll probably do that with the next series. I don't even know what the next series is going to be after this one. Oh, hey, look. There's the bombardment target. So what shape is Ismo in and Tokiwa? They're fine. They they just completely won against that Japanese bat or Russian battleship. All right. Slow down to like 10 knots just so you have an easier time aiming. And just wreck it. Wreck whatever this uh, vodka. This vodka factory. There you go. Vodka factory's dead. Go to cruise speed. Italy, more Nostrum, but we bu don't build cruisers. Uh, Mare Nostrum. What is, wait, what is Mare Nostrum again? Man, no cruiser game would be interesting. Because you could do battleships, carriers, and destroyers. RC. Okay. Yeah, that would be an intriguing one. Because I usually like going with the very cruiser-heavy sorts of challenges. But yeah, no. So not building cruisers could definitely be an issue. So yeah, uh... That was a very good victory. The Imperator Nikolai the First, 141 medium hits. So, so it was scoring hits there. Starts taking 10 inch hits and 5 inch hits and just all those fire spreads. <laughs> Look at how many just hits there are. It's just getting shelled into oblivion by all the 
10 inch and 5 inch and 6 inch hits and now it's sinking and then it just he gets hit even more then she'll pull off a no guns run somehow ooh I wonder if that's possible cause in the late gate ooh no guns you couldn't do anti-aircraft guns with that hmm you couldn't do coastal fortifications you'd have to You'd have to commit to subs. You'd have to commit to torpedoes. I don't know if that's possible. I don't know if you can actually design a ship or a warship without a gun. Other than a carrier. You could rely on ramming in the early game, assuming that you could actually do that. But I'm not entirely sure that the game would let you. Anyway, uh, Russia just lost another pre-dreadnought. Um, they do have their battlecruiser completed, though. And they are building more. But they're still losing. And declining every battle. Look at this. 72,000 victory points to not even 5,000. Could win the rule to minimum size guns and number for construction. Yeah, that is true. There's also one thought I've had about a campaign where you can only use uh, centerline single mount turrets for every single ship class except for carriers for carriers that allow them to be on one side of the ship but you could only use centerline single mounts which means no secondaries no tertiaries although maybe I'd amend it so that you could do no, no, I wouldn't amend it. Cruiser action. 7, centerline 20 inch BB because fuck it, yep. Hey, naval budget increases. We better turrets. Russia, just die already. Russia, you're, you're screwed. You are completely screwed at this point. There's nothing you can do. You've lost. You have lost this war so badly. Hey, small engagement. Let's see what we get. We get the battle cruiser Congo. That's what we get, and a light cruiser down there. What? All right then. What? What are we looking for? Whatever this guy is down here. What are you? Oh, is that an armored cruiser? Is that an armored cruiser? Please be an armored cruiser. Hello there, armored cruiser. It's a oh, it's a six-inch armed armed cruiser. Honey, it's the 1910s. Time for your government collapse. Yes, Bob. <laughs> yep. Hello there, armored cruiser. Here, have some 12-inch uh, shells. There's nothing you can do. I'm faster than you. Out of ammo for guns up. Oh, our forward gun's jammed. Of course it is. Of course our forward turret's jammed. We're just gonna run this thing down again. Apparently it shrugged off those uh, 12 inch hits pretty decently. Yeah, it's not shrugging off these. Yeah, that hurt. That probably hurt it pretty bad. It looks like it has slowed down. Congo is barely even damaged right now. This thing can barely hurt us. And there we go. 12 inch shells into it. Alright. It's crippled. I love the little crippled CA. Die! Oh, you're on fire now. Yeah, yeah, this CA is not liking this. This is exactly what this ship is designed to do. And it's dead. Victor Japan. I'm not even going to look at how many hits we scored on that thing. It just died. Hey, there we go. We win. <gasps> I can take him, shot cut. And there we go! Look at that! Now we actually have a little bit of space in the 
Northern Pacific. Uh, put both of these guys just on foreign station right now. That'll that'll clear it up. Pull this guy. I would say pull that guy back, but we have to rebuild all these ships. So I will send all these ships in for a rebuild, and then I'll call the stream. Um, so yeah, these guys have minesweeping gear. There's nothing else I can really put on them. Uh, cancel doctrine spending, and all of these guys. Open design for rebuild. Yeah, you're fine. Can't really fit mines to them yet. Making me sad too. How are long stream only noises? Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. I just I feel like the two hour streams right now. It's it's a good length, and plus I also need to do a lot of Planet Coaster stuff every day, um, which is probably going to be what I do immediately after I'm done with this and after getting the stuff ready for YouTube. So hopefully now we'll start building more uh, more dreadnoughts, more battle cruisers, and of course Russia's just been destroyed. I will say though it would have been really fun if we got like Finland or something out of that, but nope. Only Kamchatka, but I'll take Kamchatka. It gives us a base in the Northern Pacific, too, if we do go to war with the U.S. Um, but, you know, I think the U.S. has much better basing capacity here. Yeah. There's also some thought about trying to take the Philippines from the U.S. early, because they have a lot of battleships, though. <laughs> Which is scary, but they kind of kind of get on a... You kind of missed Planet Coaster streams? Yeah, I need to bring them back. Um, I need to bring Nameless Wood back, but there's been so many contests, and I think I work better on the contests without um, without uh, streaming it. But, you know, I think what I might do is, once I get the coasters like smoothed out and finalized, um, once I'm more on the boring stuff and the scenery stuff, that's I might uh, stream the current set I have then. And then maybe just upload those VODs as is, as kind of like bonus content rather than a proper series. So yeah, uh, thank you everyone who watched this. Uh, Russia has been absolutely beaten up and lost. Um, the U.S. is a potential target for next time. Stream the boring stuff, yes. And yeah, that that was a good war. We did lose, um, I mean we lost a coastal sub, we did lose uh, like or protected cruiser and a corvette that war counterproductive eh? yep but you know certainly took a toll on the russians and took you know a good amount of territory in uh the laotung peninsula Sakhalin, and kamchatka we took the northeast asian russian territories I should just edit i should just edit the save file so that we have the russian far east to ourselves too <laughs> now so yeah, with that, um, I guess I will see you guys then. Um, thank you everyone who watched on Twitch. Uh, thank you Erebus for following. Um, and thank you anyone on YouTube who is watching this right now. Uh, if you're on Twitch, links to my YouTube and Discord are in the description below. I upload all these videos to YouTube after they're done and do kind of put them in a series. For all of you on YouTube, links to my Twitch and Discord are down below if you want to join either of them. Um, and I stream all these on Twitch and notify people on Discord, but you need a special role for the notification, as, you know, was stated earlier. Um... So with that, I'm out, and next time we'll go through the next peacetime, maybe partway through the next war, and just kind of figure out what we need to do then. So yeah. Bye!